we're trying to save lives and still provide a service to our community at a reasonable cost that provides a level of protection and safety to our community against zoonotic diseases yes. and dangerous animals and wild animals that run freely in our city. Representatives from Amarillo Animal Control and Texas Panhandle Pet Savers have made the trip down here to the state capitol. Austin's $12 million municipal shelter is not only no kill, it also provides other services for animals and animal lovers that ensure the quality of life for our furry friends. Amarillo's animal control officials learned a lot there. The number one thing right now would be if the uh, trap, neuter, and release program that is being suggested by the Texas Panhandle Pet Savers, if that were to be instituted into our our policies and procedures would eliminate our euthanasia by almost half. The trap neuter release program would give nonprofits the responsibility of trapping cats, altering and vaccinating them, then releasing them. Another idea is getting reliable volunteers to help at animal control. You've got to justify and support in writing a job description on why you need the volunteers. And once your staff and your city decision makers understands the value that volunteers bring, to the daily operations, it will transcend to the community partners that you're trying to reach. Animal Control recently started the Adoption Option Program. First time offenders can arrange for their fines to go to the shelter for spay, neuter, vaccination and microchip costs rather than to the general fund. Officials say that's working, but the better process is incorporating serious foster and adoption programs. We have more animals coming out makes room in the foster programs through more adoptions to allow more animals to be taken off the EU list going into the foster programs, getting primed for different adoption programs that are offered by the three nonprofit groups here locally. Our biggest kind of point of view on No Kill is that essentially if we're doing our job and we're building and growing like we should be, that if we rescue all the animals, there's none left to kill. <laughs> so, I mean, you essentially go no kill by, by getting all the animals placed into homes and finding other solutions for them. Kendall Lee Bates, Pro News 7.